Hey guys, it's Mrs. Shannon, and what I'm going to do here in this video is show you how to take your data that you've been collecting and put it into a spreadsheet so we can get it ready to analyze. Um, in your eco column folder, you should have quite a few sheets that look like this. This is our eco column data collection. Um, they should be dated. First thing I need you to do is put them in order for the dates, okay? Um, it may be helpful to just kind of put like one, two, three, four, like write it up in the corner. Okay. Now for this eco column, uh, for your standard, you need to analyze two different types of data. And I said types. And the reason being some of these types of data have more than one category. And in fact, everyone is going to have to do the same first type. Actually, you know what? We're going to do three types, okay, because everyone should have, if you're in a group by yourself, you only need to do two. Anyone with two or more people will have to do three different data sets. The first data set for everyone will be plant height, okay, and so you should have three plants, and or three, five plants. Not all of them grew for some of you, but that's okay. You should still have five columns of data. The other two sets of data you can just choose which of these you want to use, but you're going to use the same one for all, okay? So if you're a single person, you will be graphing two sets of data, plant height and your choice of any of the following on the left side. If you are in groups of two or more, you're going to be graphing three sets of data. Plant height will be your first, and then you can choose any two of the other columns to analyze. Okay. What we want to do is now see what this data means. What can this data tell us? And right now on all the pieces of paper, it's a little hard. First thing we need to do is organize it. And we're going to organize it digitally using Google Sheets. You can get to Google Sheets using the app, going to your drive, or going to sheets.google.com. But we want to open a new blank spreadsheet. Now, if you are working with other students, you will want to share this sheet with them. So up here, have one person start a new one. You're going to share. Um, it will need to be titled. Um, for your title, you know, maybe something to remind you what it is. Equal column data, seventh hour or third hour. I'm going to call it sample. Okay. But once you have that title in, you can share it. Now, you can just start typing the name of the people in your group. If Mrs. Rush is in my group, I would put Mrs. Rush down. Make sure that it is checked that they can edit. They want to be able to edit. And then go ahead and send it. Once you've shared it, make sure everyone in your group opens it up. Okay. At this point, then, you have a blank spreadsheet. Now, I have to move this, these tools over here so I can see. What we're going to do is we're going to have a new sheet uh, to make life a little easier when we graph. We're going to have a completely new sheet for each type of data. So on sheet one, we're going to call it plant height. So look down here where it says sheet one at the bottom left. We're going to rename it. And what we're going to do is we are going to rename it plant height. Then you have to add in your new sheets for your other data that you chose to do. So if you're by yourself, you'll add in one more sheet. You're going to rename it with whatever the name of that data is. Nitrate, nitrite, dissolved oxygen, temperature, odor, whatever you decide. And then if you need to add, um, let's go ahead and call it, um, I don't know, dissolved oxygen. Let's say I'll do dissolved oxygen. And then maybe my last one I do, because I'm in a group of three, is turbidity. Again, you get to choose. Okay? Now, what's nice is that each of you can work on a different one. Three of you, two to three of you, can work on a different one putting the data in. When we put the data in, we want to put it into a chart. The, for plant height, you're going to label them. I'm going to start here at the top. Um, plant name. So remember how we 
had plant one, two, three, four, and five. And then we had to, um, one, two, three, and four were around the sides. And then number five was in the middle. If you know what your names are, you could actually call it number one. Um, Might have been lima bean. Okay, so if you know what they are, use it. Um, if you click on a box and you want to rename it or something or edit it, you can always click up here to edit. So once we have those in, the next thing we need to do is make columns for each of our dates. Okay, so here's the tricky part. We're going to have to use a calendar. The day that we started is day zero. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a column to add a, or a row. To add a row, let's go with right click on the four. You can insert a row above. Oh, I did blow. Undo button. Um, insert row above. Now, all of these are going to be plant height. Okay. We're going to talk about the plant height in centimeters for all of our different ones. Okay. Now, the thing is, is that we have to number our days. So we have to count from day zero to see which of which in our dates each of those days fall on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, on the side, I'm going to pretend that I started, let's say I started on um, October 5th. Okay, October 5th was my first date. Okay. And then I also took measurements the 12th. I also took measurements the 14th because I did it twice that week. Um, whoopsie. I don't know why I did that. Oh, because I moved it over. Okay. And I might have also then taken it October 19th. Um, October 23rd, I'm going to say I missed the 23rd, but I picked it up on the 30th. Let's just say I have these dates, okay? You probably have anywhere from like three to seven dates to begin with. Well, here's the deal. We need to figure out not the dates, but how many days from the beginning we are. If we began on the 5th, we had zero days past. That's when we started. So then the 12th means we'll have to look at a calendar. We start on the 5th. The 6th would have been one day, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It would have been seven days from the start for the 12th. Okay, if I did the 14th, and granted, that's probably not the best because that means a Sunday, but I came in on a Sunday. Let's pretend I came in on a Sunday. Well, we were already seven days from the beginning, eight, nine. Now we're nine days from the beginning. Remember, it's how many days from the beginning, not how many days from the last time. So the 14th was 9. I'm going to the 19th, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then I skip to the 30th. So let me go back here to the 14th or 19th. I was at 14 days here at the 19th. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20. 2, 23, 24, 25. Okay. So again, these are days from beginning. Okay. So now that's what I need to label these as. Zero days. Oops. And I'm going to put my row in up here actually. How many days? Um, oops. I'm actually going to be taking height in centimeters at day zero. I'll just keep it as a zero. Um, oops, I got to actually add two rows because I shouldn't be at the same level as lime bean, should I? Here we go. Okay. 
day seven, day nine, day 14, and day 25. Okay. So now I go in and I look at lima bean one and I saw I started out as zero centimeters. Okay. On day seven, I was, I'm just looking off of my packet now, I was two centimeters. I was six centimeters. I was eight. So I am filling this in off of my packet. Now I am going across. You could have also done this differently. You could have also, I'm going to put alternative set up. You could have also set up the lima bean, the plants up here. So we have plants. Oopsie, I keep going. One, two, three, four, five. And then I can have my day zero, day seven, nine, 14 and 25. Okay. I could have also done it this way. And so in this case, I just switched the columns and it's okay. As long as they are labeled at day zero, I was zero centimeters, two centimeters, six, eight, and nine. Now we need to make sure that we, when we label our plant height, we put our unit as in centimeters. Okay. So plant so either way you set it up is fine. You can do it going across with the days or going down with the days and then fill it in. Now, as someone is doing plant height, you, someone else can be doing dissolved oxygen. Okay, so you do it the same way, only this time we don't have to have the separate rows or columns for each plant. It's just the days and the amount of dissolved oxygen. So amount dissolved oxygen and then we could have day zero seven fourteen actually okay that's dissolved oxygen amount um, sixteen what I had next Okay, and so then I only had one measurement for each. Okay, so we might have had zero, we might have had six part per million, six, four, zero. Okay, um, the goal here is that we do want to label what they are, but we also have to be careful because we want to set them up in a way that we're going to graph it. So make sure that you do label dissolved oxygen in the unit. And that you do have it marked for which number of days that have passed. Okay. So if you would like to format so it looks more like a table, you could also do this. You can highlight them. And if you put here, you could add borders to it. I'm just going to border them all in. And let's say I want to separate and make it easier to see um, the title or the days that I collected. So I can separate them. I can go to fill color. And let's go with a, this color looks pretty. And you can fill them in. And so now you have a nice chart. Okay. And so do that the, uh, the same on the other sheet with whatever you have. In fact, I'm thinking I like the alternative setup better. So you might want to try that one too. If you're struggling, if this is seeming too long, maybe try it um, with the days going down. It might be a little bit easier for you. Um, but again, we can graph it from either. The next video will show you how to graph so we can start to analyze what these numbers actually mean and see if there's any patterns or trends to our data. So go ahead, stop this video, finish up your data, and then you'll be ready to move on to the graphing.